Good morning and welcome to my show. This is called La Canzone Cucina or my singing kitchen, the singing kitchen. That's because I sing on the show. Huh? Ah. I sing really well. Anyway, <laughs> today, this is part of the ongoing process of making ourselves an Easter dinner. And we're going to make manigot. Mm. Manigot is uh, this pasta that you fill with ricotta and uh, mozzarella. And you put it in the top, you roll it up, you put it in the oven, you put gravy on it, put it in the oven, cook it, take it out and eat it. It works well. So yeah, that's how I'm used to it being called manicotti. I go into some places still to this day and they say manicotti. Well, it's not pronounced manicotti. It's that, pronounced manicotti. That's it's what I thought. Manicotti. That's what it's I thought. It's easy, but people, people don't care. I, I went into a place the other night and my favorite, my favorite peeve of all things is when they call bruschetta bruschetta. Oh. It's not called bruschetta bruschetta. It's called bruschetta. It's got a C in it. But I went into a restaurant the other day and they had bruschetta. B-R-U-S-H-E-T-T-A, which was exactly what it sounded like, bruschetta. But it's we're pronounced with a C in it, and C-H in Italian is pronounced like K. And it's called bruschetta, not bruschetta. So everybody, so, everybody gets that one wrong then. Yeah, because it's not called bruschetta. Oh, what did you just put to, You put in I that? put two, two cup things of this. Two so, cups of flour? Two cups of flour. Move the flour over. This is to make the shells. Ah. Now, my mother used to roll the dough out herself. Then I had two eggs to this. That and he had another egg. Like so. And dump these off. I'm glad you didn't put them in a cup and swallow them like Rocky did. Uh, I used to do that, but I stopped doing it for the last. It was, was it one of uh, Pop's brothers used to do that? It was a fighter? My father used to do all this. My father's whole family did that. Wow. But then you could do that. The eggs weren't the same as they are now. You didn't have to worry about the little thing that Well, same thing also with chopped meat, right? I mean, Grandma, I remember, used to be able to eat raw chopped meat. Then. All the time. So we had two cups of water, two eggs, and two cups of flour. Oh. One, one, you know, one of them. Oh, that's great. Two, two, yeah. two. That's two, nice. Two, two. Easy yeah. to remember. Yes. So let me take this. Oh. Whisk. Let me start to stir the whisk around. Don't whisk away. Mm -hmm. Nice color. olive oil. I mean very little olive oil. Of course, all I need to do is wet it and I got to turn the heat on. I'll put the heat on about four or five. And I'll add a little bit of olive oil. That's enough. A little bit. I'm going to keep it right here. Until it falls out. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to kind of wipe it around. And I get a lot of the olive oil on this paper towel so that whenever I have to do the pan again I just gotta wipe it with the paper towel. Now we wait for this to heat up. We'll keep the paper towel right here. And we'll wait for this to get ready and then we'll put the stuff in. Ooh. This is the, the uh, cloth I put oil on and I just wipe the bottom of the pot with it. Mm -hmm. It's like you spray it with olive oil but I don't have a spray can so I use this instead and it works even better for me. Then I take it and I come over to the batter. This is nice and hot. This is not too hot. It's like uh, a little less than medium. And I take it and I pour it in here. Put a little more in here. Oh. And put it on the stove. Huh. And when it cooks, then I turn it over. And then I finish, when I'm finished with them, they'll come out looking like this. And these are very thin. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. That's how it comes out. Oh, look at that. So this is rigotta. We're going to use to fill up the manigotta. And we're going to take the rigotta and put the rigotta in the pot. Oh, look at that. Come on. It's going to come. Come on. Come on. Leave him, boy. Oh. Ah. Oh. It came out in one piece. Very nice. Very nicely done. <laughs> Will we be able to fill this up? We may need another one. Let's get another one and add it to it. Here we go. Nice, so well, that's two it. Two out of two. It's not bad. So let's try two eggs. Oh, the cheese guy. I was the cheese guy in the earlier episode. Yes, you were the cheese guy greater. That's right. You grated the cheese for the meatballs. Yeah. Mm. 
Let's add some black pepper to this, which should be enough. A little bit of salt on there. And then we'll add the parsley. Oh, Pasadena, I wash you good. Just cutting up the parsley. Mm-hmm. Chop and mix it up. Same way we did the, the meatballs, except we don't add the bread. Oh, okay, no bread. Nice. So we added salt and we added pepper and we added cheese. Great color. Yeah, green is really nice. Like especially against the white red goat. Just mix it all around. You know, I was kind of getting spoiled on watching you and uh, watching you do it with your hands. I was. Yeah, I know. A little bit of the egg in there. So I take that like that. First, I got to cut the mozzarella. Otherwise, that's not going to work either. Ah. Okay. So you take right from there and into here and spread it around. Mm -hmm. And put the uh, puts it on it. Ooh. What do you think? Like, kind of, it's kind of neat. It looks like an egg roll. Yeah, kind of. Oh, that's neat. That's good size too. Oh, you can fit a whole bunch in here, I assume. Yeah, I can fit 12 in here, I think. 12. Cut another square of the mozzarella. Oh, that's easy. That, and that's simple enough to do. I mean, really, this whole recipe is, is fairly simple. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Nice. That fills now, we just have to put the gravy on it, too. We have to put gravy on them before we put them in the oven. Now I get a spoon, just put a little gravy on this to keep them going. And what do you do? Put them in the oven from here? Yeah. And how long do you cook them for? For about mm, 20 minutes. Oh, wow. 25 minutes, that's about it. And of course, this gravy is the gravy you saw in the... Uh, from in, before, yes. From the meat gravy the episode. What? Oh, that is going to be delicious. Can't wait. Me neither. Ah, from Willy Wonka to Chocolate Factory. I love it. Here you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin traveling in a world of my creation. What do you see? We'll define explanation. If you want to be a paradise, simply look around and do it. There is really nothing to it. If you want to see the world, there's nothing to it. There is no life that I know to compare with pure imagination living there. You'll be free if you truly want to be. So come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. If you want to be a paradise, simply look around and do it. Anything you want to do it. You want to see the world, there's nothing to it. There is no life that I know to compare with pure imagination. Living there, you'll be free if you truly want to be. Fantastic. As usual. Fantastic, he said. Everybody, in honor of Grandma, one, two, three. Fantastic! Fantastic.